Welcome everyone! Today we're diving into the thrilling world of streetcar racing, focusing on one of its most renowned figures, Justin Shearer, better known as Big Chief. His journey from a small town boy to a celebrated figure in the US streetcar racing scene is inspiring. Big Chief was born on December 9, 1980, in Louisville, Kentucky. Despite facing challenges, his life is a true example of perseverance and strong will. Louisville, a city famed for horse racing, was where Big Chief's story began. But the roar of engines, not the thunder of hooves, captured his heart. His mother, a widow, single-handedly raised him and his brother, instilling a solid work ethic that Big Chief would carry into his racing career. Her influence on Big Chief profoundly shaped his character and resilience, later becoming his hallmark in the racing world. Big Chief, from Louisville, Kentucky, got into streetcar racing despite his city's reputation for horse racing, including the Kentucky Derby. His fascination with streetcar racing was an anomaly in his town. Still, it was a passion that he held on to, a passion that would define his future. A significant turning point in Big Chief's life came when his family relocated to Oklahoma City when he was 12. Known for its vibrant streetcar racing scene, Oklahoma City was a playground for a young racing enthusiast like Big Chief. The move fueled his passion for racing even more. He was drawn to the adrenaline-pumping street races that were a common sight in his new city. He would often visit and attend many street racing events around his neighborhood, absorbing the energy, thrill, and camaraderie that defined the local racing scene. These experiences ignited a fire in him, eventually leading him to become one of the most recognized figures in streetcar racing. Before Big Chief became a household name in the streetcar racing scene, he was just Justin Shearer, a young man with a dream and a relentless drive to achieve it. His early career was far from the glamorous racing world he would later inhabit. He worked at a gas station, a job that was a far cry from his dreams, but one that brought him closer to the world of cars he loved. His stint at the gas station was followed by a brief period at Midwest Street Cars Automotive. This job was a step closer to his dream, immersing him in high-performance vehicles and racing modifications. He would later become a co-owner, marking a significant milestone in his career. But the most defining moment in Big Chief's early career was acquiring his first race car. After saving money from his various jobs, he bought a 1972 Pontiac Lemons. This wasn't just a car for Big Chief. It symbolized his dreams, hard work, and passion for racing. He named it The Crow, a name that would soon become legendary in the streetcar racing world. The Crow was more than just a car to Big Chief. It was his ticket to the racing world, his companion on the racetrack, and a testament to his journey from a gas station worker to a professional racer. The bond between Big Chief and The Crow was a special one, a bond that would see them through many races, victories, and even devastating accidents. Big Chief's rise to fame was not just confined to the local racing scene. His reputation caught the attention of the Discovery Channel, a network known for its captivating reality TV shows. They were inspired by Big Chief's story and the vibrant world of streetcar racing, leading to the creation of the Street Outlaws show. Street Outlaws was more than just a TV show, it was a window into the thrilling world of streetcar racing. This documentary series, which began airing in 2013, features the fastest and most skilled street racers. It gave viewers a behind-the-scenes look at the races, the rivalries, and the sheer adrenaline that defined this underground racing scene. For Big Chief, Street Outlaws was a game-changer. It catapulted him from a local racing hero to a national star. The show highlighted his racing skills and showcased his charismatic personality, making him a fan favorite. Street Outlaws significantly shaped Big Chief's career, turning him into one of the most recognized figures in streetcar racing. Big Chief's journey to the top was not without its share of trials and tribulations. In 2015, he faced a devastating setback at the height of his career. During a race, he was involved in a horrific accident with his co-racer, Brian Davis, also known as Chucky. The collision was severe, resulting in serious injuries for Big Chief and the total loss of his beloved car, the Crow. The accident left Big Chief with crushed L2 and L3 vertebrae in his back, a broken collarbone, and pulmonary contusions. 
The physical injuries were severe, but the loss of the crow was an emotional blow that was just as painful. The crow was more than just a car to Big Chief. It symbolized his journey, dreams, and victories. Its loss was a harsh blow that Big Chief was determined to overcome. His recovery process was grueling, both physically and emotionally. But Big Chief, true to his name, faced it with the same determination and resilience that had defined his career. Despite the pain and the challenges, he never lost sight of his passion for racing. His love for the sport and the support of his fans fueled his recovery, pushing him to get back on his feet and back on the racetrack. Big Chief's return to racing after his accident was a testament to his indomitable spirit. Despite the odds, Big Chief was back, ready to face new challenges and chase recent victories. Big Chief's journey with Street Outlaws had its share of controversies. Fans of the show noticed his absence in recent seasons, sparking questions and speculation. The real reason behind Big Chief's departure from Street Outlaws was rooted in disagreements with the production company's policies. The main point of contention was the company's race your way in policy. This policy dictated that winners of select preseason races would be invited to participate in Street Outlaws. Big Chief took issue with this policy, noting that it disproportionately favored racers from Street Outlaws, Memphis, leaving many others sidelined. This disagreement led to his departure from the show, marking the end of an era for Big Chief and Street Outlaws. While Big Chief's professional life was filled with speed, adrenaline, and controversy, his personal life differed. Big Chief was once a married man. He tied the knot with Alicia Shearer on September 29, 2006. Alicia, who used to work as a respiratory therapist, met Justin at a full-service gas station when he was 18 years old. The couple was blessed with two sons, Corbin and Kavel. However, the couple decided to part ways in 2017 after a long relationship. Despite the end of their marriage, they remain committed to co-parenting their children. Today, Big Chief's heart seems to have found a new home. His current partner, Jackie, frequently appears on his social media posts. From their shared photos and bars, it's clear that they have a strong bond and are enjoying their life together. As we move into the present day, Big Chief's journey continues to be as thrilling as ever. His fame in the world of streetcar racing and his appearances on Street Outlaws have contributed to a significant net worth. As of 2023, authoritative sources estimate Big Chief's accumulated wealth to be over $10 million. His income sources vary, ranging from his racing career to his TV appearances and Midwest Streetcar's automotive co-ownership. Despite his departure from Street Outlaws, Big Chief actively participates in the racing scene. He continues to compete in races, showcasing the same skill and passion that earned him fame. His love for racing remains undiminished, and he remains formidable on the racetrack. In addition to his racing career, Big Chief has also turned his attention to his YouTube channel, Midwest Street Cars. Here, he shares his love for cars and racing with his fans, offering them a glimpse into his life off the racetrack. The channel allows Big Chief to connect with his fans, share his knowledge, and continue contributing to the streetcar racing community. But what does the future hold for Big Chief? Well, he's not slowing down anytime soon. He's working on a new car project that promises to be as exciting as his previous endeavors. While details of the project are under wraps, fans can expect the same passion, dedication, and excellence that Big Chief brings to all his projects. So, as we wrap up our journey through Big Chief's life, one thing is clear. Whether on the racetrack or off it, Big Chief continues to live life in the fast lane, always ready for the next race, challenge, and victory.